Hello everyone and welcome to your channel Techwine. In this video, let's try to solve this lab. Once you get the credentials, copy the username 1 and simply log into the cloud console with the incognito window. Ok now simply activate the cloud shell. Once the cloud shell is activated, simply go to the description, copy all these commands and save it in a notepad. We will make some changes in this command, so paste it in the notepad so you can make the changes easily. Now go back to the lab and move to first task. Then carefully copy this region. Go back to the notepad. Make the changes. Again go back to the lab. Copy this. Now carefully remove this. Ctrl plus V. Move to second task. Copy the topic name and make the changes in the notepad copy all these four commands then simply run them in the cloud shell ok now you can minimize the cloud shell and search for cloud functions open this click on create function now for the environment you have to choose second gen and from the lab, simply move to third task, then carefully copy this name, go back, paste the name and for the region, again go back to the lab, in my case the region is this, in your case this may be different, so choose according to your lab. Scroll down a bit, click on next, enable. Ok now please pay attention, you can close this thing. Simply go back to the lab, then copy this entry point, paste it, remove everything from this index file, simply go back to the lab and copy this content, paste it, move to this package file, remove everything from this file, again go back to the lab, then copy this content paste it and click on this deploy this will take 2 to 3 minutes so simply wait for that time ok once your function is deployed you can simply go back to the lab and check the progress for this task also you can move to task 5 go back to the console then simply go to im open this now we have to carefully choose the second username so simply go back to the lab and you can see my second username starts from 34 so this one is my second username click on this icon click delete then save and that's all you can go back to the lab and check the progress for all the tasks 